Hello everyone, good morning and welcome to Nightmare Simulator 47. You know, I was thinking that I've just been sleeping a little too well recently and that it would be just amazing to hop back into Subnautica and do a bit of a checklist, let's say. Just knocking out requests for mods and stuff that you guys want to see that I've been seeing around in the comment section and of course, as a result, we're gonna get some true nightmare fuel. But without any further ado, let's just jump right in. Ah yes, nothing to better prep me for the nightmare that's ahead than seeing this thing on the loading screen. Okay, so the world of Subnautica is looking mighty fresh, and also mighty vanilla, which of course is not the case, but you guys already know how we do things around here. So in the recent videos, you might have noticed the Return of the Ancients mod be covered, and that is truly incredible, and, and probably the most ambitious mod for Subnautica currently in production. Well, there are a few minor things to that mod which I didn't cover last time, and one of them is a really big one, which uh, I'm gonna go cover right now. And there's a reason why we're heading to the gun island, because it involves the gun. And now to just find a good parking spot. <laughs> Alright, so here is the quarantine enforcement platform, which is normally responsible for shooting down the sunbeam. But uh, as it so happens, while well, there is a bit of a unique interaction that happens right now, if you if you watch it shoot down that little trade vessel. So let's, let's do that. Uh, ship explodes and... Uh, you can see it in the background. And there it goes, look at that. That's the gargantuan leviathan eating the sunbeam. And uh, wow, this, oh my god, this really puts it into scale. Look how massive this thing is, even though it's like all the way on the horizon. Wait, I kind of want to see that again, to be honest. I mean, just so you have an idea of how far away this truly is, right there is the mountain island. You can kind of see it pop in and out of existence right there. That's where the gargantuan leviathan is. Look how far that is. Just to give you an idea of just how truly massive this creature is. And so here's poor little Sunbeam, about to become lunch. Yep, and there you have it, folks. It does actually eat it. Wow, I mean, honestly, like, the scale isn't even that far off. Like, it could unironically fit the entire ship into those jaws. That is just horrifying. Now this is more like a temporary thing. It's not exactly clear if they're gonna be keeping this cutscene or not, but I think it looks freaking awesome. That really is something, isn't it? Alright, so to show the next thing I wanna do, we're gonna kind of need to raise the water level. And when I mean raise the water level, I mean completely submerge the entirety of Subnautica in the void by adding just thousands of meters of water. Um, so let's go quickly do that. Now see, you might be thinking something has gone wrong, but it really has not. The title of Subnautica is just completely black because the whole world is now 8,000 meters underwater. But anyways, let's jump in, shall we? Okay, unironically, this mod actually makes me feel super uncomfortable. Yeah, you can see the depth gauge is kind of giving us an idea of how deep we are. Um, that is actually completely accurate. If you have thalassophobia, you might want to rethink watching further. Um, and yes, our life pod will be leaving this realm because uh, we're extremely deep. Um, and this makes me very uncomfortable, but luckily here at a safe shallows. No longer shallow, but still safe, I suppose. So you might remember from one of the previous modded videos, I showed you guys the bloop, or as I like to call it, the bloop. But actually, what I didn't even realize is that this mod adds another leviathan besides just the bloop. So let's say I'm just chilling out here in the deep Grand Reef, really deep now. I could type in a little console command, and would you look at that? Um, we have acquired the the bla the, it's like the Blaze Leviathan, but you spell it a little differently, like Blaze Leviathan. It's a, it's a big sea serpent, and like honestly, this might just be me, but it, it just really doesn't look friendly. <laughs> Um, it looks truly horrifying, uh, maybe it's kind of like the deadpan stare of the eyes, but definitely not pleasant. Look at those teeth as well. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much the last thing you would experience after meeting this thing. I do have to say, the body looks super smooth, and I love these ridges that kind of follow it up. I believe it normally spawns in the Lost River, and I just kind of randomly stumbled upon it while I was exploring. Just, oh my god, it even, oh, it unhinges the mouth, that's freaking creepy. Just another thing to add to your spooky creature repertoire. Anyway, moving on. Ever since I showcased the video which adds 10,000 meters of water, or what we're rocking with right now, people have been asking for me to go to the void, which would now be like the double void, I suppose, or it would be 
double the depth. So uh, wh why don't we go check that out, shall we? Okay, so herein lies the void, um, and then the void also lies above there. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Definitely not what I would call pleasant. Um, like, let's be honest, I didn't like being this deep before, and I like it even less because of what is about to emerge from the water below me. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Um, the Gargantuan Leviathan is still a thing as well, of course. So now you can enjoy this, combined with the fact that we're already 8,000 meters deep. And you know what the best thing about it is? You can do this anywhere on the map. God, I'm never gonna get used to that. So you see, the absolute beauty of this is that you could be out here <laughs> in the safe shallows, which are no longer safe nor shallow, and you could still have huge leviathans roaming around. Man, I, sometimes I really ask myself if what I do to this game is ethical? Clearly not. I mean, just imagine starting the game and, and, and this is... Oh my god. This is where you are. Like, giant sea serpents, 8,000 meters of water above your head. Ah, lovely. You've heard of the safe shallows. But have you considered the dangerous depths? It's a great deal, you should definitely give it a try. Um, this is just a juvenile, by the way. But if this is kind of what you crave in your subnautic experience, which I don't know why you would, but if it is, go for it. We, we've truly transformed the landscape of this game. <laughs> Was it feather better? Definitely not. Like, not even, that's not even up for a discussion. But it has transformed. Everything about this mod just makes me uncomfortable. I don't even know where I am. I see the kelp forest down here, but it's not really helping. Okay, so finally, somebody asked if we could actually get, like, all the way up um, above the water level. And now that's not going to work with Riley, of course. Um, but we can try with free cam, so let me just go on this 15 minute mission, I'll be right back. Yeah, the, the game's not stuck or anything, I'm just, I'm just traveling. And you can't see the depth gauge change, of course, because I'm in free cam. But at some point we should reach the top of the water, it might just take a while. Oh boy, we found it! There's <laughs> the, the water level. Yeah, the uh, life pod is only 6,000 meters deep. So this is what you get now, it, that's... Subnautica, somewhere down there, around 8,000 meters deep, so like, you know, not quite Mariana Trench levels, but getting close, and you could certainly make it out if you wanted to, and the surface is just nothing. Um, but yeah, if, if you dove 8,000 meters down there, um, for comparison, that's so deep that even with the fog off command, nothing loads in, of course. Um, yeah, you could get to the original game, so happy diving, campers, I guess. If this doesn't unnerve you, I don't know what will. Well, friends, you know what? I think on that note, I'm going to leave this episode off, so I sincerely hope you enjoyed. And if you have any other mod requests or stuff that you would like for me to do with uh, the crazy repertoire of mods that we currently have, please let me know down in the comments. I would very much like to read it. If you liked the video, maybe consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. All of those would be very much appreciated. And if you want to follow the channel or my own work more, consider following me on Twitter at the latest bacon or joining the Discord. Both links are down in the description. Now with that, I'm gonna wish you all a beautiful rest of the day, and I'll see you in whatever next video I make. Bye bye.